Hello, Silvia, and welcome again to Barcelona. Hello, thank you for welcoming. I'm very happy uh, to speak with you and to uh, meet you in, in person because uh, a lot of people, a lot of uh, people from, from press, uh, everybody uh, says, uh, Silvia Sane is so cold, don't speak with the press, is so angry, and you are, you are so nice, and I'm so happy. You know what? Now I am angry because people tell about me so much bullshit. No, I, you know, maybe because I am not so much uh, from the, the public last few years. That's why people think I am not too much open. But uh, you know, when somebody asks me about interview about or something, I am open to this. No problem. So. your relation obviously uh, what's your opinion or, or maybe what do you think is the difference uh, beca uh, between the porno actually and the porno in the 90s wow it's a big difference because uh, from beginning let's say 15 years ago when we start the business was like uh, people don't know how yeah and in this industry it was not so many people just a few people in states few people in Europe now uh, I think all the girls, since she turned, she turned 18, she started to do this business. And she don't know, the girls don't know exactly what they want. Before the business was respectful. Now, uh, everybody who can hold the camera call themselves, I'm director or producer. You know, before the business was more classy. Now, of course, there is a lot of big companies, for example, like this one, or uh, companies like uh, Private and others, they still have the classic, but the business changed a lot, you know, In internet killing everything. Nobody, uh, nobody more shoot the movies for the DVD. Everybody shoot for the internet, and the internet changed everything, you know. So, uh, for me, it's very strange because every year you see new girls in this business, and next year the girls who are here today, you don't see them next year. You know, nobody stay and nobody hold, uh, nobody stay here, and nobody wanna go up like before, you know. So. It's big different, you know. So last year, uh, Pierre Budman yes. uh, talked to us uh, about how uh, the Spain industry is very good uh, in football, for example, and is horrible in porno. What's your opinion about the Spanish porno? You know, don't take seriously Pierre Budman sometimes, you know. <laughs> no, but. Uh, in the industry also for many years so he can see the difference also but I'm not sure that like he explained this you know so I'm not sure if it's the same words but I would like to say but uh, uh, I wish that one day the business go back these years when we start because now uh, people don't know the limit I mean the client not the producer but the client because more you show the people they want to see more and more before the porn was more like uh, it's bad to say but for normal people but now people want to see more bizarre and bizarre and bizarre stuff and they don't have a limit and uh, I, for me it's too bad you know so to shame a little bit and the last question is hard for you don't be in the front line of the porno ago I don't know what I have to accept now I know what happened before 15 years and I, I'm, I'm, I'm happy that I'm part of this industry you know so because I met a lot of interesting uh, people a lot of nice people in the industry and uh, uh, I hope the people who just watch the movie will understand what we are doing well you know so not that we have uh, like you say some people think you do only things what the people tell you, but we, we do the things because we would like to do this for the people, you know, so... Well, thank you very much for the interview, thank you very much for the memories, and thank you very much for being so nice. So it's a pleasure for me, thank you.